First of all, we're going to assemble the manifold frame. It's far easier to do this on the ground than trying to do it when you're up on the roof. So take the manifold box and from out of it, take the manifold and the three pieces of the fixing frame. You want to orientate the manifold so the Navitron logo is downwards and the tubes go in at the front. So that way around. Start off with the two vertical pieces of the frame. The screws for these are already on the manifold. These two at the end. So just remove those and obviously keep them somewhere safe. Then the manifold fits over the end so the frame is going in the same direction as the tubes will go. Then using the bolts and the washers again, just screw those back into the manifold. and then repeat it on the other side. Once you've tightened the tops of the frame, you need to put on the bottom of the manifold frame. For this, take the four nuts and bolts which come in the fixings pack. And quite simply, just locate the four holes in the bottom of the extrusion with the four holes in the bottom of the frame. This is where we start putting in the evacuated tubes. In the manifold box, you've probably already seen these cups. These come apart like this. And they hold the bottom of the evacuated tube securely on the rail at the bottom. They clip into this runner. Also in the fixings box, you'll find a tube of thermal grease. What you need to do Take one of the evacuated tubes. And then just put a smear. Don't be too stingy with it. Just smear down the edge of the bulb here and just make sure that it's covered all the way around. Like that. That means that when it's plugged into the manifold, you get a good contact between the two pieces of metal so as much heat is moved as possible. And then all that you do with this is it just goes into the tube there, into the manifold, push it home. At the bottom end, take one of the cups. There's a grooving one side, that needs to be at the front. So you take the ring over there, put it into there and clip it down, making sure it's vertical. And then you just screw the end in. Just firmly, that will do. You still want to be able to move the tube a little, but obviously not slack. That's fine.